What's up, everybody? I had a um, I had like a few downloads yesterday about a home invasion. Like a not someone's either planning this again on the same person, or this is something that's completely new. Force. Somebody's gonna try and force themselves. They're trying to force. First off, this is probably someone or people that are trying to force themselves into your life. Period. Um. All right. Let's find out what's up with these people. I'm going to get, um, I may get full names if I feel like it. I'll see if I'm guided to do that. But yesterday, everywhere that I, it was like, I'm listening to stuff on television. And the one thing as I'm just kind of being in the moment and paying, and like not really paying attention, but let my intuition pick up. Home, one minute exactly. Home Invasion was like on three different shows. There were two different, um, videos from like years ago on YouTube about something about home invasions. It wasn't new stuff. It was about how to keep your home like invasion proof, like what to do if your home is invaded forcefully, one, two, three. And then even when I was getting my hair done last night on the radio and she had playing on the speakers, hang, force and hang. Uh oh. Okay. Um damn could be a Pisces, the hang. Um, but yeah, that's what it was. And then they even, they were talking, there was a commercial for something about home invasion, like security system. So yeah, I, I want to see who this is for. And uh, I want to be able to help somebody, you know. I feel like... Let in the light. So you could be exposing something about these people. I don't know, man. It, it feels like somebody wants to make a statement, right? Maybe they may actually be, they wind up making a statement on the news to some cops because it could be a cop behind it. There could be some cops behind this home invasion. Mm -hmm. Life threatening. These would be people that have been um, maybe making, whether it's direct or indirect, um, threats on your life. So, all right, tell me about these people. Joseph. I don't know if they're going to do this to you or this is somebody named Joseph. Is this Joseph who they're going to do it to? No, this is that Joseph from yesterday. Is this that person that from yesterday that, tell me the truth, this person is going to try and force themselves into someone's home? Oh, they're going to do this to him? Hold on a second. This may be happening to someone named Joe or Joseph. Someone's going to try and let's just find out. All right, tell me, tell me about Joseph. And this force and hang somebody. I don't know if this person owes money. This person, I don't know, man. There could have been a situation where somebody beat. Remember, I, I exposed yesterday that somebody beat a dealer or something, and so now they said they had to do something dirty. That's how they were, or they were going to wind up getting like offed or something. This could be like that. This. There could be some truth that's coming out right now. Like this person, they won't even let this person even do that. Let's just find out. Tell me about Joseph. Tell me about this Joseph, please. Tell me tell me about this Joseph, this particular Joseph. Tell me about this particular Joseph. A Taurus. They could definitely be a Taurus. Mm. This could even be for somebody. It's somebody that you have a commitment with. They could be working with a Taurus, though. Um, wow. Somebody is going to wind up saying, like, I don't know if this is somebody you were in a relationship with or something like that. You could be this wife or something. But if until I get a clearer story, this is what I'm, I see from this. Whatever you do for work, you could, there's something where you do where you, you're reliable at it. You could be the Taurus, okay? 
you bring attention, whatever you, you like for me, the eight of pentacles with work and the attention is like whistleblowing. Whatever you do for work, it, it, you're getting, uh, there's a lot of eyes on you, small. Joseph and small. This person could be a small dude, a small person. I got to get this small minded. So they're small minded. Somebody may actually say that they, they want to work with you like or something. They're, they're going to say something like, yo, or I don't know. Let me, let me see. Let, let's very feeble minded schizophrenia. Is it? I don't know, man. But the mind and schizophrenia. This person could wind up saying or trying to get into some kind of conversation. Maybe they're going to try and get into your mind. Maybe they think that they can get into your mind. Why does this cotton shit pop up all the time? I'll be right back. Um, I need to do some research. I don't want to waste your, your guys' time. Hold on. I have a feeling that who this is for... I don't know if the person they're going to do this to has schizophrenia. Or the person who's going to do this is just crazy and shit. Your mother, that somebody's mom could be like mentally sick or something like that. And they know this. It feels like, I don't know if it's just for robbery. I don't know if, if this person owes some people money. This person literally could owe money or they made enemies or something. But it doesn't, it feels like they're going to do it. <laughs> secrets, incest, molestation. All right. So maybe it's somebody is trying to work on themselves, right? Phenomenon. Somebody, so I don't know if this, it just feels like somebody may be healing from schizophrenia too. Maybe there's somebody that is helping them work on their mental illness or, you know, somebody that they rely on. Somebody is successfully helping somebody deal with some mental issues. Karmic feminine and friends. So this is somebody that I'm guessing, this is for someone in particular named Joe. And I don't feel like this is the same Joseph that came out in the reading yesterday. I feel like this is a completely different Joseph. Life, phenomenon, and life. So maybe you have a whole different outlook on life now. There's definitely a karmic feminine here. I don't know if this person is, has, is schizophrenic. This person is your friend, apparently. Let me find out. Tell me the name of this karmic feminine that is supposedly friends with this person. That may, I don't know if they're behind this or something. Give me a first initial of this karmic feminine, please. That's supposedly friends. P or D. I'm telling you, I feel like there's a cop behind this, too. Give me another initial A. Any more, please? One more. N or F. Hold on. I don't know, maybe your belief system's changing as well. Maybe you're realizing that there's multiple gods and goddesses. There's not just one god. Maybe this is another thing. It feels like somebody... This could literally have something to do with somebody that... 
is helping you work on yourself and somebody doesn't like this shit man there's somebody who i don't know if they have schizophrenia or it runs in their family you may not even know this person has it or maybe you do it feels like somebody that you're friends with supposedly so either the friend's name starts with this it's not going to be for everybody or you are the person where this friend supposedly is um i feel like they're just being phony i do i feel i feel like a very phony what's p-a-n The Greek half goat god of sex. Person is called a pan. Uh, sexual attraction to people regardless of their gender. So this person could be like that, or they could be lesbian, or they whatever. If it's a female, yeah, there's could be somebody that kind of. Well, I don't know. It just feels like somebody's life took. They're just kind of like lost. Knock, knock. Slang for masturbation. Yeah, something's here about somebody having a sex addiction. Somebody definitely, it does, could be a bee pansexual. There could be, there could be some secrets coming out about a feminine um, listener. Somebody's listening, paying attention. I don't feel like it's a good, somebody acts like they're a good listener as well. This is somebody who's claiming to be a friend of yours. Joe. Two different spectrums no camera what's up with no camera listener dawn and no camera you may not have any cameras at your home or somebody knows that wherever they're planning this break in they there's someone who knows enough about you that knows that either like someone that you live with is is easy to get over on or that you don't have any security or something like that that's what it feels like it feels like someone's playing friends with another person but they're really behind some people that are, that are going to help plan a home invasion on somebody part somebody's playing a part in this they have a part in it is that what you're telling me spirit somebody actually has a part in it Someone supposed a friend is going to play a part in this home invasion. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it would be one of your friends. This could be Aaron. Someone's name could definitely be Aaron because it's like with the AA thing. Preacher. Okay. So the hierophant. That's what that is. I was going to say it could be a, a church or a, something like that. Somebody, I don't know, man. I feel like, is there a, a, a preacher behind this shit? Or someone is like a preacher. Uh, hold on. Loyalty, romance, chivalry, love of honor. It doesn't feel like it because this is at the bottom with the revenge. Somebody wants to get revenge on another person because why? It just seems so awkward. Like I, don't, I can't figure out why this is happening. It's almost like... Um, I'm telling you, I feel like it's because somebody is working on themselves. And they're, so if you're, if you have a group of like broken friends and you wind up like just wanting to change or you're just kind of, you're different, you're just a little different, you know, and people never expected this of you. I feel like there's some friends of somebody that is like, well, we can't manipulate and use this person anymore. A cave. I don't know what the cave, like. You could have a man cave or you could live like that, you know? Maybe you're, you've are you been in a cave or you feel like you haven't really been seen or you've been, like, staying in and not really talking. I don't know. It's almost like people wanted someone to stay in, in the state that they were in. Mentally, somebody could be working on themselves and literally healing themselves from, like, a generational curse of schizophrenia. And I just feel like a lot of people don't like this, that you're even working on yourself. There's a feminine that's around somebody that definitely doesn't like it, that's claiming to be somebody's friend. All right, tell me about um, this. It's someone you're loyal, that, that you're being loyal to. Tell me about this um, loyalty that they shouldn't be showing to this person, please. Tell me about this loyalty, then who's this person, please? And Aries, a Pisces. I'm telling you, I feel like there's definitely a Pisces involved here because of 
what the hell did it say in the beginning? I forget what it said, but I remember it reminded me of Pisces or something that I saw. There's definitely a Pisces male. Why is this person? Why, why, tell me about this move. What is this? Uh, uh, yeah, I feel like there's some friends that are doing this in secret. I, I feel like, it, or this is a friend of yours, or these people are all talking about you. Tell me about this, Three of Cups. These would be friends of, friends of yours that maybe have mental illness as well. I just think that somebody's friend group consisted of a lot of broken people. And now there's someone or some people that don't want to deal with those people anymore and they are not happy about that. Like, what the fuck kind of people are these? It doesn't, it feels like they're, they were never your friends then because it seems like someone's doing better or they're trying to. Yeah, because you freed yourself from these people. Like, I feel like there was like a hold, like these friends had a hold on you, but it really wasn't a hold. Maybe you're realizing like I could have walked away and just kind of put boundaries up at any time. They don't like that you're happy. I feel like maybe you're disappointed in what you're finding out about some of these people. So you, you just decided like, okay, you know, I'm going to liberate myself from these motherfuckers. I'm going to cut them off or something. And I just think, I, because I don't feel like there's a really a legit reason for this home invasion here. I got Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. <laughs> Yeah, th these are just, I hear crows, heavy outside. Zen. So that's what it is. You're more at peace. So I don't know if you hung around a group of friends that always had shit going on. Yeah, you game over for somebody. Um, maybe they wanted you to be in a cave. It just feels like there's some people, they must be energy vampires. Maybe you didn't, you're learning about this or you already knew about this, but... It feels like uh, it feels like somebody or some people are focusing on themselves a little bit more in whatever area this is, and that's all it took. Because now you're not hanging with the group of us broken people now. So. And, and this will actually happen. This will happen because it happened to me where people took it personally. When really I was just, yeah, it's going backwards on their journey. So you don't want to talk to anybody that's getting involved with criminal shit. You don't want to get yourself involved with anybody who's like hanging with people who are dangerous. Because I just feel like you're seeing a lot more. It's like disappointing. You're seeing this dark side of people. They don't like this. Follow you when you leave the house. I do. I feel like this is it's getting dangerous for somebody. Stay inside for now. I just saw because it does feel like somebody's going to try. Yeah, somebody. Do. <sighs> they disrespected your ancestors. Mm -mm -mm. And that's a no-no. Stay inside. Pedicure. For somebody, maybe you were going to go out and get a pedicure. I feel like maybe you should cancel that appointment or somebody's watching you to see when you're by yourself. To see like who's coming over or who you're talking to. Tell me about uh, follows you. Tell me about the, the, who they follow. Who's getting followed? M or C? This could be Michael. Or this is the person following it. Or Michelle. B, U. This could be Buck, Buddy, T, A, Tara, Tamika, M, B, T. It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just, there's like not a good reason. I don't feel like they have a good reason for this, actually. Main battle tank, fraternity guy. Hold on a second. All right. People coming up with some really bad ideas. That's what it feels like. It feels like this ain't going to be a good idea. MBT. Wild 
main battle tank. So I don't know if that means. What's up with carrier? There's so much going. Meeting why and carrier. Meeting and why. Somebody may may say that they want to meet up with you or something, and maybe you need to question why. If somebody says, uh, let's meet for something, and you know something's off about this person, ask why. I don't know what the carrier, they may be trying to find out what your phone carrier is, or they may know somebody that works for your phone carrier. It just, it, I don't know, it feels like targeting, but um, it feels like it's targeting by your own friends that you're not hanging with anymore. So maybe these people were never actually your friends. I mean, maybe you're realizing this, but I don't think that, I mean, I guess it depends on who this is for, but it, it doesn't feel like, it, it feels like where they're planning this break-in is not somewhere where you spend a lot of time. So either you're at work or something, and, and this is your home, but it feels like it's, it's, it's kind of left to the wolves. That's what it feels like. Like there's no cameras, there's no security system, somebody knows all this stuff, they're watching you, if they're planning on breaking into someone's home when they're not there. I don't know if there's anybody in the home when you're not there, I don't know if you have a wife or kids, or you may live with a parent, or I don't know, Grant, but there's, I don't know if there's somebody else in this home. Oh, the bathroom. They may try to break in through your bathroom, actually. I don't know if you leave your bathroom window open where you're at or you don't lock it or something, but somebody needs to start securing their home when they're not there or even when you are because I honestly think that this, this could be a gang initiation or something. Cuban bathroom. Tell me the truth. Somebody could be Cuban that's involved in this. Yeah, the hurt. They want to hurt you, man. Sit there and wait. They may actually come in and already be in there. So I don't know if it's going to be a home invasion where they're because that that would be like a lot of attention being drawn to it. But somebody knows you don't have any cameras, man. They know that. They know that this home is like. I feel, I don't know if you have schizophrenia or there could be someone in the home that does. It's, it, they, they know you well enough to know. Yo. Somebody's going to try climbing in or getting in your home secretly and then they're going to wait in there. Mm-hmm. That's what they want to do. Not anymore. Black eye. I don't know. This person may have a black eye. That may be um, relevant, man. Or they want to give somebody a black eye. Or they're going to wind up getting a black eye over this shit. But Fiance. So I don't know if this is some, this could be an employee. I mean, you, this could be somewhere where you work or this is somebody where you know people that work somewhere. Somebody, so for who this is for, it, this could be a couple and you may know who this is because this person's fiance may currently have a black eye. So these are just people that are like, this, this feels like drug addicts. This feels like, um, like trap house type of, people that that's just what it feels like for me like they don't really have a lot of install maybe you need to install a security thing or maybe you need to tell them that you did maybe you need to start um yeah reminder Twenty eighth could mean something today's the 28th they could be planning this today Yeah, somebody's gonna try and set this up today. Somebody's gonna try and set this up today. 
Or they want to give you a black eye. Tell me the true spirit. Does somebody's fiance want to give somebody? Yeah. Uh, what is this? And who is this? What do, What is happening here? Don't forget. Maybe don't forget to install. I don't know. Or, or tell them that you did. Don't forget. Don't forget. Maybe don't forget to lock all your windows and lock your doors. If you're not at this home and you feel like it's for you and there's somebody at home, like kids or a parent or a grandparent or somebody that's mentally sick, and they wouldn't be able to fend for themselves. Somebody wants to hurt you by doing this. And they're going to do this through this home invasion. Don't forget. And if you're not at this residence. And you feel like this is for you. Go back to this residence and lock it up. And make sure it's secure. Ask neighbors to keep an eye on the house or something because it, you know, don't be that person that better safe than sorry, right? That, that's what this feels like. Be better is scared to death of prison. They shouldn't have done so. Somebody's this could be somebody that's on the run, scared to death of prison. But I want to, I want to, I want to plan a home invasion gang, the stalkers. I'm telling you, I feel like these were people who these are lost people, these are friends you don't want to deal with anymore. And I feel like they took they're taking it personally. When you learn the lesson, you receive the blessing. So somebody still did not learn it. And that's why they're on their way to prison. They're scared to death. I don't feel like they're there yet. Leave. They're waiting for you to leave. Or maybe you need to leave and go secure this home. Install and leave. Leave. Install. Yeah. I don't feel like you're at this home right now currently or when you watch this leave and graduation I mean that could mean something somebody you could it, this could be somebody's graduation this year or something I don't know man or graduation could actually be like leveling up with a gang okay because that's also what I know like that means I, I feel like that's what that means anyway that would be the way that they would put it on here for me to understand that bicycle leave and graduation and bicycle leave graduation bicycle is this person riding a bike yeah they're trying to give me as many things as I can for who this is for so that you know this is for you so this is my my advice if you feel like this is for you and you know that there's somewhere, a place, a residence where, you know, there may be people who are mad at you or you just hung around people that are like this and now you're not hanging around them anymore. I just feel like they're just pissed off or you, you, they may think, oh, you think you're too good for us or something. I just don't feel like there's a legit reason, but it, it sounds like addicts. It sounds like lost people. He hates them. Yeah. I just think you need to focus on making sure whoever's in that home while you're not there is safe and protected. Being too aggressive. Yeah, something going on. It's so bad. Like, oh my God, these people. Toss that grown ass man. Hit him when he's down. So, oh, you could be going through something tough, and these are just the kind of people that, like, I feel like somebody was the proverbial punching bag in a friend group. And now they don't have that that source of, like, narcissistic supply is what it feels like. Because somebody's, like, either staying to themselves or they just want to work on themselves. Or maybe they're realizing, like, when I'm around you motherfuckers, I feel like I have schizophrenia. It could be something like that where these people were just that toxic. Oh, my God. This person could work for the government. With the hierophant. This person could have definitely have a government job. Or they did in the past. Leo. Or they had a very powerful position in, in, with a government job.
Knight of Wands, but I feel like they were always like, maybe they keep getting fired. This could be somebody that just kept fucking up, you know, or they're always using this. They, they were always using this job to, um, to do, and I'm not going to say that I knew it was coming. So if whoever this is for sacrifice, oh my goodness. All right, somebody wants to sacrifice you and this is how they're going to do it. Or this could even be whoever's in this home. <sighs> yeah, I just feel like somebody, um, you could be finding out about sacrificing, sacrifice and watch, sacrifice, watch. God, it feels real fucking demonic, man. It, feel, it feels real dark. It feels like maybe somebody would watch, like they want to watch somebody be hurt or something. You know, there, there's, there's somebody else that they're going for. I feel like it's to hurt you is what it is. So whoever this person is that's connected to you, whether this is uh, a spouse, children, a parent, a grandparent, someone, they know how to get to you. I'm just going to get some letters in and I'm just going to let it go because I just feel like I, whoever it's for, you're going to know if this is for you. I feel like the sacrifice is going to be someone that's dear to you, but they don't care. Tell me, tell me about, um, tell me about this government, this person that works for the government, please. Tell me about this, this person who works or is connected to some government entity or something like that. Can you one at a time, please? It's a male. This person's constantly like abusing their role with this government job. I don't know if they still have it. T or R, Tracy. Tell me more. Like, give me another. Y or T. Somebody could have a YouTube channel. Thank you. Somebody may also say that like they want to thank you for something or they want to have a meeting or but it's it's yeah, or suddenly they, they suddenly want to thank you or they suddenly want to say like hey let's meet up or something like that. I just don't don't it, it's very shady. Very, very, very shady. This could be Ty. This could literally be someone's name is like Tyreek with the T Tyreek or Ty at the graduation again. Thank you kindly. If you or someone you love needs Roundup and were diagnosed with cancer, call the number on your screen now. Don't wait. There may be time to Yeah, it's graduating to another level. It's leveling up in a gang. Someone's name could be Tyreek or something like that. Hold on a second. And there uh, this is like this is this is friends of somebody. Middle class, you could be middle class or something, or something that could have something to do with it. Maybe somebody wants to get out of the middle class environment, so in order to do this, they have to, they have to sacrifice somebody, and they're gonna do it to somebody that that you were you were a good friend to this person. They didn't deserve your friendship. Tug, you're not used by fairies to indicate masturbation. The fairies. Thank you for reminding me. I went to get my hair done yesterday, and my hairdresser told me that her son said that in their school there are kids who are identifying. They they gotten themselves involved with a ring. This person got themselves involved with a tra with a trafficking ring or a drug ring or something like that, and they need to do this to level up. This is. I don't feel like this person has many other options. 
So, but they have to sacrifice in order to move up with these toxic people. You have to take someone out. They to, to show loyalty or for them to have something on you to blackmail you. It's so toxic, man. But yeah, so they're called fairies. These are kids that are identifying as animals. This whole I identify as, she said, this is so creepy to me that the actual kids were actually starting to like go to the bathroom. They were going to get litter box. The teachers were going to get litter boxes for the kids because we want them to identify and to be comfortable with whatever they're identifying. Are you kidding me? Do you know the, the amount of children that will wind up in a mental asylum with this, with at this rate, being able to just identify as whatever the fuck they feel like it, 35, 35, we're just going to let these kids just now, Mark, that could be the person's name, it could just be straight up saying it's Mark, or you are their next Mark, but yeah, it's crazy, they are identifying as plants now, it's, it's, it's abuse, it's actually child abuse, but people, don't, if you don't put your hands on people, kids, they don't want, they don't see it that way, it's fucking child abuse, man. People need to start being, there's like no discipline with kids anymore. Yeah, you know, it's just if you're identifying as a male, but you're a female, we're okay with it because we want you to be free. And, yo, that's all fine and dandy, but when, when this world starts looking like the motherfucking Simpsons bar, you understand? Don't say that people like me didn't mourn you. Yep, someone's name is literally Mark for somebody. Let me see what else this TYK means. This could be TikTok. Somebody, you could have met, you could be talking to this person on TikTok or there could be somebody marking anywhere. There could be somebody that's connected. You could have a TikTok or you do TikTok or something. Okay, it doesn't have anything to do with TikTok. All right. Test your knowledge. Test your knowledge test it somebody may want to test your knowledge or something like that or maybe you need this it's this person like i guess there's somebody that is always trying to one up you or something that's what i feel like i feel like somebody's always trying to say like oh yeah well then how come i don't know somebody is fucking just envy green i think of envy that's what i feel like i feel like green it's also money based this is money motivated Anywhere in green. Mark and anywhere in green. Anywhere that there's green is where this motherfucker will go. Whoever this person Mark is, that's all he cares about right now. He needs money. And and someone's like, okay, well, you can join us. With this ring, I honestly, let me find out what kind of ring this is. Because if it's sex trafficking or organ trafficking. No. Okay. It's organ. And with that kind of stuff, it also comes like bone marrow. So if there's an older person, and you know how their organs are older and stuff like that, like they can still use shit from these bodies. It's crazy the way they disrespect. With the disrespected ancestors, they, they're, they're probably connecting themselves to a middle class motherfucking trafficking ring. This would be some low level, this is not, you know, the higher ups that are involved, not that any of it's good, but these are some, it's almost like they want to start their own or something like that. No, I mean the true spirit. Is this a ring though, like a trafficking? Yeah, um, do yourself a solid, protect yourself, whoever the 38, 38, and go to this home and lock everything up you may even have to fucking stay there because there's somebody who's paying attention to how long you're gone who's there what door you come in out of they're they're watching things because they're setting this up to be in a home to break in to sneak in to already be in there i don't i just feel like it's your responsibility now for who this is for because i do feel you're a man and i feel like this is if you don't man up and go and take care of this and protect whoever's in this home, whether it's you or, or somebody that's a sitting duck in this shit, you may even want to alert the police that you may have an idea that maybe this is happening. 
or this is about to happen and for them to just watch this home for you but document it okay uh, if you make this phone call to your local police department record that phone call we either have your friend record it from their phone there's there's apps where you can record every phone call but document the shit that you called your local police department and said I don't know I feel like that there's you know then you don't have to explain why all you got to do is tell them this is what you do, right? I just want, I want to feel protected. That's all. You know what I mean? I have an inkling. It's better if I say something than if I didn't. And I'm sorry. That's it. We're not going nowhere. Protect whoever this is that's in this home that's a sitting duck because somebody has no idea it's happening. Philly, I love you.